I don't even know what to say no more. I've done this video like three times, and I met a I was like, I don't know how pregnant women eat. I'm not showing you nothing. You can't see nothing. And I just, I've been practicing since getting raspy and across more truer. In terms to what extremes, my mom. I'm sorry, and don't worry, I got my brush too. Time for yourself. You always got the true, you can talk, ex except my fingernails. I usually do them a little better. They are, my hands are. Hi. <laughs> it's me, it's Jessica. Welcome to another one of my videos. I'm pain like hell right now. Today is March 1st, 2014. I'm drinking my Gatorade. Um, no, I'm not drinking my Gatorade. You guys are silly. These are my, uh, I guess these are blood bottles coming out of my implants. Not very comfortable, I know. Oh, ouch. So, whew. I just turned on the uh, recording gun in, the in bed, and that's why I'm out of breath. Pain pills kind of help. We know when we transition that when we get surgery, it's going to hurt like hell. We already know that. We ain't fooling nobody. Oh, but I didn't think I was going to be hurting this bad. Hell, I thought I'd be painting my fingernails by now and everything. Whew. But it's all good. So I was going to do some videos when I got out of surgery and I couldn't. Um, Dr. Chetterwick doesn't like, I couldn't set my camera or my tripod up like I got now. So, that's fine, that's good. You know, I've got to respect every other, their wishes, so. This is my first video since I got out of surgery. Um, it was a success, even though I'm in pain. Uh, all I got was the breast augmentation and the SRS, and this was on the 24th of February. So on Monday and today is what Saturday. So kind of out of breath. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, still very energetic. Of course, I'm smiling. Everything went good. It was. A little bit of complications. I think the surgery was like 11 hours, um, maybe 10 or 11 hours, which is you know about normal. Maybe a little bit of complication. We said he had with the uh, breast tissue. Even though I had a beat cup on hormones, he was paying 600s, and boy, did he go big, you know. Whew. I think I measured now. I, I converted it, so now I'm a double D, and I'm like, what? Holy smack them. That's all good. So, um, I just can't believe he was trying to talk me into 700s. It was like, no. So, the bottom surgery, there was scar tissue beforehand, so, um, I mean, I guess it said there's like a urinary infection or something at one time, but he was able to get some good depth, is what he said. He didn't tell me how much yet. Obviously the packing is still in. Um, I am not going to do a video and watch, you know, let you guys watch the packing go out. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually keeping it rated you know, PG or whatever. So, Whew. It's amazing how much out of breath simple little things are like getting in and out of bed. Ouch. And then of course 
I'm going to have them move my, I got a mattress that I'm sleeping on top of this mattress. I'm going to have them move it more towards the edge so I don't have to slide all the way to the middle. Pretty dang disgusting. All that's coming out of my armpit. So, I don't know when these are going to move. But maybe Monday, maybe today, maybe Monday. Um, as soon as all the excess stops, that's when they'll, they'll take it out. So, um, the uh, packing, I guess, will come up Monday. So I can eat solid foods again. Um, I'm happy. And my sister, she put it down pretty dang amazing. Um, because and when I made a comment on Facebook, and I, and I love my sister to death for this. You know, because the pain has been killing me the last couple of days. I'll be straight up and honest. I mean, the breast augmentation is what hurts the most. I mean, today I'm starting to feel downstairs a little bit. Um, I guess the best way to describe down there right now is like maybe somebody tucked it, you know, underneath the cheese grater a little bit, and I'm just getting that little raw feeling where it. Yesterday it wasn't bothering me, and the day before it wasn't bothering me, so. But yesterday I put on Facebook, I put, you know, you know pain is winning the battle right now, but not by much. You know, I made it back to my hotel safety, which is where I'm at now, back to my hotel. And, uh, you know, we're and just an earshot away, our friends that have got my back. And, you know, there's support, you know, there are people, we support each other here, so. And we also got nurses that check on us every day, so we're not left alone. So don't get the wrong impression. It's actually very good, and I like it like this. Um, and then uh, my, my sister replied, and she goes, well, you know, breathe in, breathe out. Repeat. The pain will be worth it. A set of boobs and a new vagina. It's Christmas time in Thailand. When the box is healed, you take off the ribbon and look in the mirror and see it, the gift you've been working so hard for. And uh, smile, girl. And I love you. And that's it just sort of reminded me how much and how hard I have been working for this. Each of us, you know, when we start to finish, when we set a goal in motion and, and we get everything into action, we work hard. It's you know we can say one thing and do another, but there's actually a lot of you know work a, a, a very hard for it. You know there's a lot of control. And, you know, you know take the money, go buy a big screen TV instead, or or do this instead. Some of us you know excuse me. You know we got bills to pay. We got this. We got that. So. Um, worked hard for this. Came halfway around the world just to get it. And like I said, I'm happy with the technique. I shouldn't be sitting like this. That's just somewhat comfortable compared to sitting down. You gotta keep your legs sort of spread out. Mm. Um, and you know, three weeks from now, I'm not even gonna feel any of this pain. Well, maybe a month from now. I mean, a lot of the pain will disappear. Uh, it's already getting better and better every single day, you know, I'm starting to be able to sort of tiptoe to the bathroom, tiptoe, turn on the camera. I couldn't do that the first couple of days. I was supposed to do an interview um, with Transition Radio. I don't know if that's going to happen now um, because I really don't have the coherency um, to sit. I can't twist over. I can't, you know. I don't have to hold that. I just I can't twist over. I can't type. I can't concentrate long enough to edit a lot of these videos. So a lot of these videos are going to go up later when I can, you know, concentrate. And I, mean, I can do an interview now, but they want some other videos and stuff too, which I fell a little bit behind on. So 
it's all good. It's my fault. Um, I did it. I feel like a woman. Do, 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 do. Let's go, girls. Let's next way. Mm. Obviously, everything's still swelling downstairs. It's swelling up here like a son of a gun. I gotta press in, you know, and hold it down for a while and watch the blood go out the bag. And I just gotta exercise, exercise, exercise. And then I guess when I'm able to stand for long periods of time, I can sort of lean my chest towards the wall and help massage. You know, break in the implants. So, but yeah, seeing little bottles come out of your armpits, you know, like this. Two little bottles, you know, cheers. It sort of uh, brings it into perspective. You know, a couple of girls over here go, oh, I'm not going to get augmentation now. I'm like, oh, you know. You do what you need to do. I'm doing what I need to do. So, and you know, some of the guys they do say more than a mouthful is a way. So, um, you know, but I'm tired. It's my first video after surgery. What's this? Day number four. Day number five. So twenty-four, twenty-fifth, twenty-sixth, twenty-seventh, twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth. So it's five days. Day number five, still in pain. I'm able to tolerate a lot more though now, and I'm doing better. Um, my airplane flight was kind of tweaked a little bit thanks to um, Korean Air trying to make my layover like 30 hours, but I called Priceline up and we got it fixed up. I'll go into more details about that when I'm a little less drugged up. So, um, painkillers are good, everything's, Chetowitz is a good doctor. You know, I had a lot of worried viewers. I did my research, I, I did, I, I, I made the right decision, I made the right call. And, um, especially with the conditions of my body, the way they were, you know, having a tight muscle mass, you know, doing this. I could have seen other doctors, you know, and it probably would have been done too, and I probably would have been happy, but everybody's happy with their own doctors, but, you know, and I'm, I'm really glad that I, I, I did Chattawet, and, um, that's, I, I'm just not going to get the tattoo that says Made in Thailand, that tattoo is not going to happen, so, anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to lay down, I I'm going to be groggy. I'm a positive person, I'm always upbeat, I'm active. Surgery takes a lot out of you. So, but my experience here is a lot different than some of the others. And it just looks on your outlook. It's like, I don't know, I knocked a lot of them down, but I had postcards lined up all along here. You know, I got the big, you know, photo up there. I don't know if that's in the camera view or not. No, probably not, that's the clock. I got another little fan up there. Got flowers hanging over there, flowers over there, picture there, picture there. I got it homing, you know, stuff that I bought. I got a wind chime out on the front porch. I'm opening it up. I'm, I know I'm going to be here for a long time, so you got to make the best of it. This is, you know, when you fork the money for surgery, you're not forking the money for vacation. Surgery is not vacation. I was blessed and I took a week early. So I was able to have a little bit of vacation, and I'm glad I did so. I recommend it. If you can, do it, because Thailand's a very cheap place to be a tourist in. Um, I mean, as far as eating and everything else, and coming a week early, it's a lot cheaper than some other countries. So, um, that's probably going to cost me an extra grand or so just to be here the extra two weeks. So, um, Ain't nothing but a thing, and I, I have more memories now. It's, I'm too old. I might not ever come to a country like this again. I I might try. I got to get implants, dental implants for my teeth, and uh, you know get rid of the partial. That'd be nice. Um, 
I got a friend that's researching some vocal surgery, which I might try, I might not. I don't know. Um, implants are going to be first uh, for teeth implants. And then uh, I'm going to try to get a piece of property somewhere. So, because I'm getting to that age where I can't be working 12, 13 hours a day anymore and dilating at the same time. So, unless I drink a lot of this Kool Aid, it's pretty disgusting. So, anyway, I'm going to run off. Peace. Love you all. Um, you know, set the plan into motion. If this is something you want to do, set it into motion. Um, to do two separate bank accounts. And one that you will not touch unless you have to. You know, um, unless you owe the IRS money or you owe child support and you got to yank out of it, then yank out of it. But, you know. You know, that's what I did, is I had my direct deposit going into one bank, and then whatever I had left over, I just transferred over to the other bank. I'm not talking checking and savings. I'm talking two separate, totally banks. Um, that's what helped me, is checking and savings, is that when they're at the same ATM card, you're tempted anyway. So having the two separate banks helped me. I think I used Chase and I used Wells Fargo for the longest time. Um, now I'm using Chase and Citibank because Citibank's over here in Thailand. So I get a little cheaper, you know, withdrawals. So you got to do what makes you happy. This is not the happy part. But believe me, three months from now, six months from now, I'm going to be smiling. Um, I'm going to as my videos come to a close, you know, in August when I, when I stop making these videos. Um, you'll see a big, huge difference, and the smile ain't going away. No matter how much pain I'm in, the smile is not going away. Um, this is a dream. This is Cinderella. This is this is everything. Um, this is the carriage, the, the pumpkin carriage, taking me and and bringing me up into the belt, into the ball. So. Um, like my sister said, you know, once the box is healed, you take the ribbon off, boom, shh, all the swelling goes down. I mean, believe me, I haven't even looked at it too much right now. It's swollen. I've looked at it once. It's swollen. Um, so, and then I obviously Monday or Tuesday I can start dilating. And they gave me a mirror for that, a little mirror, and I left my mirror, otherwise I'd get it. It's just too painful to get up and down. But I'll show it to you. It's a, uh, a Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty mirror. And believe me, if you're going down like that looking at your mirror, you're saying hello to your kitty, okay? Anyway, never mind. It went over your head. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got to remember, you got to be true. You've got to be yourself. Them two things right there. That's it. It all goes full circle. And, you know, once it goes full circle, then the gears start rolling and everything's everything's good. So, until next time, those two things. Peace. Alright, I'm turning it off.